the final frontier. These are the voyages of the YouTube channel Darth Craig. It's continuing mission to explore strange new PvP teams, to seek out new meta and new hero synergies, to carelessly go where no one has gone before. Good afternoon, my dungeon boss brethren. We are back again with another Team Lab Thursday. If you've been following any of my PvP strategy, I know it's been a little bit sporadic as of recent, but you know, work and adult life uh, has me working and adulting, so that's how it is. But we are here now. I've had a little bit of time to accumulate some XP potions. Finally got my backup team for Open League. So, if you have been wondering this whole time, you you follow me uh, to the letter. He learned how to use the light team, and I said, hey, it's easy to get to legend. Pick the light team. Boom, boom, boom. Do it, do it, do it. And then you're rocking it, and you're saying, Darth, I'm doing this. I'm following it, but I'm running into all these teams that the light team can't beat. And so basically, you're stuck, and you get to this point here. You're staring down three different versions of the same thing. And we know, here we go, Rayla plus some others. Rayla plus some others, death sentence. Rayla plus some others, death sentence. Now these Rayla teams can kill you. Um, I've, I've been wiped as low as level 70. So level 70 and six star will indeed wipe you and it doesn't have to wipe you if it wipes Rayla you're done if it wipes Jin you're mostly done if it wipes um, Zen you're likely done basically if anybody gets wiped on that first uh, opening salvo from them um, you're kind of screwed and so if any of these didn't have Rayla first yeah go ahead and keep on attacking that but um, these are all very dangerous teams to attack for some reason Dagon absolutely obliterates light team you want to steer clear of him uh, at level if you can um, i wouldn't even try this one even with a, a missing star on him and Jin, um, just because it's it's a little bit too dangerous there so then you're sitting there thinking like okay what did darth say to do when we when we get here usually when you're farming your your pvp leagues this is when you'd say okay I gotta stop, let this reset. You switch over to gold or silver league. Uh, you come back in a few hours and then usually this will have reset into something where you can at least find something, keep your streak alive. If you'd rather grind out all of your open league in one go, maintain that streak, keep farming the far right. Well, that's when we start to look at our backup team. So the backup team, um, we'll run through this a couple of times. Backup team makes quick work of the light team, uh, especially when Grandar's on the team. Uh, it's just an absolute perfect uh, situation here. So the people that we pick here, um, obviously you, you've seen uh, the light team many, many times over. If you've tried to attack it, they hit you hard. And so the name of the game is damage mitigation. How do we avoid getting killed by them when you get four people attacking you all in the first turn? Well, two people... Uh, Lily and Agnon, for example, they don't take damage on the first turn. So boom, boom, there's your first two people there. And then the other two people, we bring in Koros first, and then Miko second. The reason that I put uh, Koros first is um, she's just a tad bit squishier for the most part, so I want her to get her um, turn two attack in first uh, before Miko. Um, but this team absolutely wipes out the, the light team. So now you max out this team here. You have your full light team and you have your full backup team. And you can just keep on going and going and going and going. Uh, then you'll only have to start to uh, worry about things when you run into um, other Miko teams and Gretel teams. And then you have to start thinking a little bit. Gretel teams have been the absolute bane of my existence in Open League. Because there's just no telling who she's going to target. And she always targets the, the most critical person. And then game over so i don't like to to take on i don't like to take on matches where i don't know what's going to happen like this this um 
match here. Very, very predictable. It doesn't matter what's going to happen. The only odd thing about this one here is Zen uh, will do his um, protection. We will see that um, from time to time. Not a lot of teams use Zen. Um, so that is going to uh, occur from time to time. Um, usually you'd see somebody like um, Dagon in there. Uh, Agnon loves Dagon. Um, put him to put him to bed early. Um, but let's run through this a couple times. We got a couple of matches here to to go ahead and do this. Um, show you some of the mechanics and how to um, use this and use it properly. Um, again, be cautious about the teams that you take on with this one. I would focus on using this team against light teams. Uh, watch out for variations of this team. We get three lights and somebody else. You need to know who that other fourth person is before you get uh, carried away because you don't want some other mechanic that's going to screw up your, your team mechanics. Uh, something that's going to remove your shroud or something from Miko, for example. you got to be very, very careful. Um, so what we do here, uh, Koros is great because even if she dies, um, she pops right back to life and then you get another attack with her. So um, great news there. Um, but basically, um, like any other light team that you're going to go after, you're going to go after Rayla first just so that you, she cannot uh, ultimately get to the ambush tactics and gain invincibility. That may or may not matter because of what uh, Zen's going to do. Um, truth be told, um, didn't seem like that happened here at all. I don't know if this is on Ascended. I wasn't paying attention. I was monologuing. Um, but Zen didn't put his first ability on anybody, and I, I don't exactly know why. That's good for us, though. So we'll attack with Koros. Koros does modest damage to, uh, to Rayla. Um, the next thing for, for... This is a critical piece here for running this team here. Do not use Miko's first ability. You need to save this for turn two when um, Grandar uses his taunt. You want to be able to remove the taunt and um, uh, keep on trucking. So we hit um, Rayla with a little bit of silence, and it's honestly, it's just a good, strong attack. It's one of his stronger attacks, really. I mean, it's a good attack. Um, and then, boom, she did. So she must have been unascended because she was very weak or something. I don't know. Um, but then we just do basic um, um, S1, you know, turn one abilities for, for both of them. Um, we don't kill Grandar right away, um, because we don't want him bubble shielding anybody. So, take out the threats first. Um, usually that, um, turn would have been reserved, uh, Agnon on Dagon. Uh, it is what it is, though. We killed, um, uh, Jin here. Um, now it's just a matter of, uh, taking Grandar down and then slowly killing, um, Zen. Um, the great thing about this, if we wanted to kill Zen after this, if we have the ability to do so, is um, this will generally generally remove um, Taunt from Grandar. However, um, yeah, it did. So it could have possibly removed that, um, that other um, defense up. But now that he's immune, um, we're just going to go after Zen, and we'll just um, slow play this one into victory. Um, there's literally no chance that they can beat us on this one. It doesn't matter. Um, what they end up doing is just not going to happen after we get um, get rolling here. So it might seem a little bit slow to start with. Like I said, Zen Zen's a bit of a wild card on this one. It's just how it goes. Um, throw some Terror Storm at him just to make him run away. Then keeps um, getting a shield on himself. Um said we're we're coming though it's just slow going that's all all right let's see if i can't take him out i i surprised that he hasn't run away yet but all right we finally got zen out of the question or out of the picture here um grandar should be um, on his way out the door now. This match obviously took much, much longer than I thought, and this constant shielding is just so obnoxious. I think the maker for Miko. Miko actually does good damage. He he doesn't get a lot of credit, but um, he's slowly making his way into um, 
extreme relevance. Mika was Mika was very 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 good um, in in certain scenarios. So that was the uh, first one. Let's do another one. Uh, see if we can't get a Dagon in there. This is a perfect one here. Um, we'll be able to see a little bit more closely as to how it goes. Keep the same order. Um, Rail is going to do her thing. Everyone's going to throw their, their heat at us. And then their entire wad is blown after the first turn. And we just go boom, 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 dead, 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 and then clean up. So here comes Rayla and her allies. She does her thing. Great. No big deal. Doesn't hurt us. Koros soaks a whole shit ton of that stuff. Um, Koros is great. Um, it doesn't hurt to have um, your folks up at uh, six stars. My only uh, missing star is actually my six star on Agnon. Um, I've been fortunate to uh, level up... Um, Miko through one of the last events, and then Koros when she first came out, uh, and Lily when she first came out. Again, turn one for Miko. You hit Rayla with silence. She's basically almost dead. Lily finishes her off nine times out of ten. Also does damage to um, Dagon. Look at that. They're basically wiped already. Dagon gets one shot, and then Jin will get one shot as well. Now you're thinking, whoa. I can just keep on grinding my open league now. Now, if you had a great team like this for gold league, I would love to hear it because gold league is really, really tough for me right now. I'm doing okay in silver, doing okay in open, um, but gold is just a major, major pain. We'll do it one more time so you can see it. This one's got echo in it. Um, only difference with echo is when you're doing it without this team, echo buffs up uh, Jin and Dagon usually, and usually that's another recipe for one shot. In this case here, best they could do is kill Koros, but they can't kill Koros twice. So uh, no matter how you spin it, it's the same exact results. Um, we just grind right through it. Rayla goes first. So let her finish her thing. We did get a stun. We didn't, that happens from time to time. It is, it is possible. So... Koros didn't do as much damage as we want, but we come back in with Miko. <laughs> Miko finishes the job. And then do a little bit of cleanup here. Again, don't go after Grandar. Save Grandar towards then. Usually we'd have uh, Dagon down there. Um, we'll just uh, bust one off on Jin instead. And then we'll um, remove the taunt from Grandar. I'm still, still stunned. That's okay. That's why we save Miko's first ability. Actually, I just got killed and we got um, Koros back. Miko's first ability to remove the taunt. It still didn't remove the taunt. Must have removed something else. I guess we're going to do this the long and difficult way. That is okay, though. Um, there's no chance whatsoever that um, Echo alone can beat us. I will even auto all it. But that is your backup team for open league and again do not just use this team willy-nilly as your auto team it just it's not a good idea the safety of running the light team and getting that ambush tactics on Rayla is far superior to anything that this team can do this team is essentially tailor-made for for beating that light team like i said even a slight variation of that um light team that you're going against we saw with zen that back and forth that shielding and the healing and the um, the vulnerability, there's some real wild cards that could happen there. Um, it just makes things a little bit more complex. But otherwise, this team here will help you um, continue your open uh, league journey and hopefully uh, get you easily up to um, Legend 1 within a day or two of the league. Then you can spend the rest of the week on uh, gold and silver like I do. So any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you again next time. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see ya. Thank you for watching, and remember, I make YouTube videos for the American working man, because that's what I am, and that's who I care about.